So what's going on? What happened? <laughs> so they got a whole nest. Look at this. Look, 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 look. I can't get close. Golly. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, go ahead. All right, guys, so we run into a problem. We got a little hornet's nest. You feel that? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> So I think those yellow jackets. I don't even know. I think they are yellow jackets. Yeah, I think they're gone though. I'm tired. You got up <laughs> They still that, huh? No? No, they did. Yeah, they did. Right. Be right here, though. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do an assembly video of the mud skipper surface light. Uh, as you can see, we already got everything unboxed, and we're trying to put it on. Uh, so right now, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut this plate off in order for this uh, transom. What is it called? A transom plate. For this transom plate to fit, because if not, it won't sit flush. So that's what we better go do right now. I got a grinder and I got a multi-tool. See what that works. Alright, so we garnered it off. Now it's sitting flush. So I can screw this on and we can get on to the next step. Yep. We're supposed to do the direction set by tightening this. I don't think it will. Alright, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, all you're doing next is just putting your tail or this piece onto the bracket itself. You're going to screw in four holes from here. And you just coming from the back. This, I guess, is your support. Right here, this screw. It's supposed to be under this. Because it's just to help you level it out so you know where the hose is at. All right, guys, we messed up. Really, you're supposed to put the belt on there first before you put it on the transom plate. Uh, and I think now what's telling me is to put the actual tail on there and assemble that first. So we're about, I'm opening up the tail now and we're gonna put it on there and see what will be our next step. all right guys so in this part of the video we decided to bring my predator to my storage shed where i had a dining room table and we decided to assemble it from there since the manual said it would be the easiest way to do it and after that we brought it straight to my boat as you will see in the next part of the video Oh, 
Let's see in front of the doctor for this matter. Take a break and we got two seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some water, come on. Five hours later. Alright guys, so we finally got the belt on the drive. Uh that was the hardest part of the whole thing. I literally had to get this soft handing sanding pad, put it on here, and hammer it, hammer it into lightly, hammer it in let it run, run, and then I get to spinning it to let that belt catch up, do it again. And then finally it went in. So as you can see it is working. I'm spinning, the propeller spinning. And that's the easiest way I found to do it because the manual doesn't tell you how to do it. Oh, no. All right. Uh, all right guys so as you can see we're finishing up the final details on the predator it is raining out here but we're trying to get it done uh so what we found out as we're putting this on is you have to take that screw that goes right in there you have to take it off in order to slide that's the only way we ever get it slide in in order for it to fit um so yeah, all we got to do now is put the mud skipper logos on there and the motor is on but i'll probably turn it on for you guys for the first song on tomorrow when it stops raining all right guys so it's the next day like i said we left off yesterday we basically got everything done yesterday with Dale. all i have to do now is just really put the little mud skipper thing that goes right here and crank it on for you guys one more time and that should be it it's out here, it's drizzling a little bit, but the type of person I am, if I don't get this done, I'm never gonna get it done. I know, I know how I am. So let's get to it. So what we're doing right here, we're just tightening the bolts up from the motor to the transfer plate. I forgot to tighten them yesterday, so that's what we're doing right now. Probably fast forward through this, y'all self-explain the story. All right guys, so don't be like me, read the instructions. I just found out that before you screw your Predator to the transfer plate, you have to put your handlebar holder right in there. So that means you have to unscrew this, lift it up, put this in there, screw it back over and again. Let's put my handlebar on there. <sighs> All right. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I unscrewed the engine block only to find out that I forgot that you are screwed in right here. So for me, I'm just gonna put it on top of the ending block and tighten it up. I'm not about to unscrew everything up. Um, you guys, if you're watching this, just make sure you put that this handlebar holder before you screw this on to the transfer plate. If not, you're gonna have the same problems as me. I'm just gonna put it up here. I'm just gonna call it a day right there. Um, so let's screw everything back up and let's screw this on. All right, guys, the next step, put this on your tail. Come with the screws already on there and the four bottom screws. Self-explanatory, you wanna screw it, unscrew it, boom, you're done. 
So I'm get to this. Guys, so it's basically the assembly of this Predator with this Muskeper 13 to 16 HP's Featherlight. Uh, all that's left is to put the handle on, to make the throttle cable, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is done, so I'm going to give you guys a close-up to see what, how everything looks now that it's done. That's it for this video. Uh, stay tuned. You are gonna be putting out some fishing content out of this boat. I visit uh, Shell Beach and different Louisiana marshes. Primarily, this boat is for duck hunting, but I do want to use it in some salt water. Uh, as you can probably see from the background, I do have a bigger boat. Uh, with the gas prices the way they are, that boat ain't going nowhere no time soon. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share, and stay tuned for our next video.